Hi you guys, it's your girl Kiera and I'm back with another video. Um, welcome back to Into Your Inner Thoughts with Kiera Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys, um, two weeks have been really good. These past two weeks, I've been MIA for the past two weeks, I want to say. I had a lot going on, y'all. I thought that my dog was sick. Yo, I thought he had parvo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but i thought he had parvo and he was throwing up blood he you know had diarrhea and then in his bowels he had blood in his bowels it was really really bad y'all he was not eating he was not playing he wasn't bothering me i just felt like a whole mama <laughs> last weekend was like it, i had a lot but it was like i had fun too like i went on um a walk with my mom and my granny and my sister we did the walk for um um i can't think of the walk that we did for but i think it was for people who have alzheimer's alzheimer's we did the walk for alzheimer's um thank you spirit and then we also um went to a work event a kickball work event for work event for my job and on the way to the work event y'all I, I was cooking um this case and freaking the queso spills all in my car y'all all in my car I was so mad I was so 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 mad I was like then I was already late got there late then whenever I made it there it was just like it you know whenever you got something in your mind and you know that something just happened and you just irritated and now you don't even necessarily even want to really be around the people but then you allow yourself to just put that to the side and just go just do it here it's gonna be okay like it's not the end of the world type of thing but I was still upset though like don't get it, don't get it twisted I was still upset but I just allow myself to not allow the negativity to overpower what good things was happening because whoo I could have easily just been like you know what forget it but I didn't I'm proud of myself into the video make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification button just so you can know the next time that i post my next video for you guys today 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 we're going to be talking about how to walk away from toxic relationships and so um i don't remember episode five Yes, yeah, episode five, how to walk away from toxic relationships. And so today, I how I picked this topic in the first place was just like, it's just been a lot of things going on, a lot of things behind the scenes of my life that I've been dealing with and that I've been learning from even the time frame of me just being gone from y'all, like, I was in the process of learning how to walk away from toxic relationships and allowing myself to put me first and like finding out a way of how I could even start. Like, where, where do I start? How do I even walk away from something that I'm so used to, something that I'm so used to being in and and dealing with and making myself feel like it's OK? You know, like, how do I walk away from these type of situations and, it's more depth into just telling someone to walk away, put you first. Um, the, the, the steps into walking away from toxic, you, you walk away, you put yourself first, you make sure you feel what you're going through. Um, remember why you left, understand that the person that you're walking away from is not going to make it easy for you. So then you got to face that battle of, of them trying to suck you back in whenever you're just trying to pull yourself out it, it's you know it's like they give like real simple versions of how to like take those steps into walking away from stuff like that whenever in all actuality it's not simple and it's 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 not as easy as people make it seem or you know like oh just walk away like they ain't serving your purpose anyway so why is it so hard or i 
it kills me. I always get people that they be like, well, you know that they're bad. You know that they're doing this to you. So why not just leave them? Why not just just go? Just why not just walk away? And it's just like it's easy for you to say that because you're on the outside. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, this person may not be the best, but they have at one point shown me that they was a good person you know what I mean so then you have like that in your mind and then it's just like being manipulated being persuaded being just genuinely a overall a good person sometimes sometimes we be so much into just like not wanting to hurt people's feelings or oh they'll change or thinking that we can fix them and thinking Oh, I was a fixer, y'all. Like, I was the one, I thought that by me staying around and by me telling them what they were doing and how they were doing it, um, how they were treating me, why are you treating me this way? You know what I'm saying? Even, like, trying to take the a different route of, like, asking them about the situation. Like, okay, well, this this happened. So, since I know that this happened, I'm I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt to give me the honest truth versus just accepting that that person is just who they are. And that's just the type. That's just how they operate. That's just how they move. That's how they choose to move. And that's how they're choosing for themselves to be shown. That's how they're choosing for their like they're choosing to put a wall up against you. They're choosing to make you not be able to get no further than what they want to allow you. Like those are people's choices. So you're walking away allow yourself to understand and know that make sure that it's you're making decision to walk away you know what I mean because like and make sure that you're ready make sure you're you have a support system around you make sure you you know pray talk to God whoever it is that you talk to I honestly it's not even whoever it is you talk to pray to God you know what I'm saying ask him for help you know for those who may not be into God or into or believe or whatever you know what I'm saying like I believe over here so I'm gonna talk about God and I'm gonna only reference just God you know because that's who helped me get out of my hard times that's who helped me get out of my the battles that I was going through in my life, you know, he sent my ancestors, my guardian angels, you know, his, 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 um, his, his guardian angels, you know, the, um, the, um, I can't think of the archangels, you know, like archangel Michael, archangel Raphael, like all, like all those different angels that he sends to help my ancestors and help them be able to do the things that they're able to do to guide them and to help and guide me out of those out of difficult times out of this thing called life you know what I'm saying because it's just like being in a toxic situation it's so it's dark but then it could become to a point where you don't even realize that it's toxic. You know what I'm saying? Because you could, like I said, you could be used to something so much that you tend to just make it into like it's an everyday thing. Like it's an everyday lifestyle. Like this is just something of what it is. Like, or you feel like this is all you deserve. This is all you can get. This is all you're able to feed yourself. And until you're willing to look beyond and and understand that you deserve more that you deserve to be treated how how you're supposed to be treated how you treat other people you know because it's just like this like putting yourself first and making sure that you're happy making sure that you're okay making sure that you're mentally physically spiritually able to operate for you you know what i'm saying and it's just like if somebody's not helping that if somebody's not feeding you in a way of where it's making you want to grow, making you want to become a bit better person, helping you embrace change, helping you just see things in a way where you never thought you would be able to ever see them, you know, like believing in you while you're also believing in them, just real love, real genuine, just love. Like you care for me, not you buying me something, not you doing like not materialistic things, but just genuinely like soul to soul. Like, like I can hold a whole conversation with you. We can really talk about life. We can talk about things like if that person's not doing that for you, it's just like, 
there shouldn't be a hesitation within you to not walk away. Like, okay, like if you have kids with someone or anything like that, it's just like, just in my opinion, you know, I feel like if you're not even in my opinion, this is just a truth because I've lived this type of lifestyle before. So it's just like, if you're not happy with somebody and if that person is not making you happy, I understand if you have kids, okay, that's cool, but you can have a mutual, a uh, you know, converse, like just boundaries and having a mutual agreement of understanding that it's just about the kids and it's not about me and you and that's it that's all you know like drawing that line and making sure you stand firm in the line that you that you draw because it's up it's your responsibility to hold that you know what i'm saying it's your responsibility to make sure that that type of energy doesn't come into your fort anymore if you're choosing to walk away you know what i'm saying because not only Whenever you have kids, not only are you walking away for yourself, but you're also walking away for your kids because you don't want your kids to grow up and think that stuff like that is okay or think that it's okay to deal with people like that or just, you know, like allow yourself to just seeing your own kid go through something that you went through. It's it's not easy. And it's and, you know, a lot of times God will do that. He will allow your kids to live a life that you chose to live because it's showing you that you didn't heal that you didn't allow yourself to break that generational curse so now your kid is attached to this and now your kid is having to try to figure out how to break that that generational curse that was put onto them on top of whatever else that they create while they're physically here on this earth so it's just so many things that go into taking these steps into walking away have a plan on on walking away because it's just like make sure you know you have like if you live with that person that you have somewhere to go if you don't even live with that person like blocking that person blocking them from your phone blocking them energetically taking some type of like spiritual baths like if you're into your spirituality like me taking spiritual breath spiritual baths um do any type of like cutting the cord like any type of spiritual guys that you know that can help you cut the cord from certain certain things because things can get can get real real um toxic real just a lot because like especially if you um intertwine with that person sexually like that's not only are you um bonding with that person you're also basically trauma bonding like you're also carrying that person's toxic toxins you know what i'm saying like you're carrying their hurt their pain like it's that's why it's just like it's so good to separate yourself from stuff like that because you don't want to become that like you don't want to be swimming in something to the point to where it just attaches to you and now you become it whenever you walk away find out like find yourself again you know like I had to learn how to love me again I had to learn how to figure out who Kiera was why am I here what is my purpose what what are the things that I want to fulfill in life you know because it's just like the things that I've been told the things that people have said to me made me feel like basically how they how they treated me made me feel like I was less than made me feel like I didn't deserve the sun the moon and the stars you know what I'm saying didn't make me feel like that I could be someone and didn't believe in my dreams but then wanted me to to help them out with everything that they had going on but whenever I was down and out there would you know people has nowhere to be found so it's just focusing back on yourself again figuring out what it is that you love to do and feeding your soul again, pouring back into your cup, not allowing yourself to over over pour no more, not allowing yourself to to sit there and allow somebody to belittle you, to defeat, to make you feel defeated, to make you feel small, to make your light feel dimmed like no more, you know, like no more of that, like keeping your same heart don't allow that type of stuff to change you because that was that that's one big thing that I want to continue with preaching and letting people know like you don't got to get revenge you don't got to get back at that person you don't got to show that person how they treated you because God will handle that the rest all you got to do is take the steps of walking away 
taking the steps of separating yourself and stop allowing because it's just like whenever you walk away you have to understand loving yourself and cherishing yourself and focusing on yourself that shows that person right then and there of what they lost and it may not happen right then it may not happen on the time that you feel like it should happen and, and you may not see it you know god may send that person to where you can see it but it, it's just like you have to understand that everything happens for a reason what you're what what do you what did you learn out of this you know what i'm saying yeah you went through all of that yes it it broke you to the point to where now it's showing on the outside now you lost so much weight where people are try- wondering like what happened to to kiera or what happened to whoever you know what happened to you like the ones who love you the ones who know like oh it's bad you know what i mean it's just like making sure that you know that you are the the stuff you know what i'm saying you are that girl you are that that man you know king you are that king you are that queen and you should be treated like you are that so it's just like making sure you manifest that within yourself and you feed yourself with that every day and believe it and really learn it and really take it all in and and just understand that people are gonna be people you know we can't control how somebody chooses to do things but we can control on how we allow someone to treat us and what we allow to come to us what we allow to touch us you know what i'm saying like even if you try to prevent yourself for certain things to not happen and it still ends up coming your way it's a it's something that we're learning from this there's a lesson out of this there's something that you're gonna be able to take out of this it's gonna help you build you and help you become stronger because you know i learned that god never allows anything to touch me unless he has a purpose or a reasoning behind on why that person is able to even be in my presence why that person is even able to even hear me speak hear me talk hear me be able to to give them any type of knowledge that they want to have in that moment like god placed me in their life um a lot of times it's just like i i've accepted and and realized that i attract toxic manipulative type of people but now I know how to deal with those kind of people now I know whenever I see those flags and I know when it's time to build a relationship with somebody and when this is just my assignment and it's time for me to teach this person something you know as y'all are walking away and as y'all are like get a journal you know record yourself like I'm recording myself you know talk about it express how you feel cry you know I struggle with crying I struggle with allowing myself to feel like sad for myself or feel like dang like I really did go through that or dang like that person really did treat me like that whenever all I did was try to love that person or all I did was try to help them or all I did was try to see them help them see it in a different light and it was just like god helped me learn a valuable lesson that it's just like it's okay to have a great heart and it's okay to want to show somebody and teach someone but don't invest yourself so much whenever that person's not even investing a little of them what happened don't forget on why you are even walking away from this situation in the first place why are you why you even made this decision because if you're somebody like me it takes a while for me to walk away like it takes a lot so it's just like I process it and I give you chances and even whenever I know that you're doing me dirty and I know that you're doing something that you have no business doing it's just like I I made the mistake back then of just not saying anything, not speaking up and just letting thing letting them just do whatever they wanted to do. Those type of situations, I just I make sure that I remember that I tried the best that I could to try to make it work. You know, like if you know that you did all that you were supposed to do that's all that matters you know if that person feels like you didn't do enough okay well you didn't do nothing you feel me so it's just like who cares if they if they feel like you didn't do enough okay but what did they do they so busy trying to make you feel like about what you did and how you oh you're just gonna walk away from me 
you so so you think this relationship is nothing so this relationship was meaningful to you or like no it's like it's, it's not even that it's just a simple fact about that i tried i tried to communicate with you i tried to give you the benefit of the doubt i tried to love you i tried to to work with you but you chose to work against me you chose to lie to me you chose to manipulate me you chose to gaslight me you chose to lie like you made all these choices so it's just like all the choices that you made now you got to live in it now you got to sit in it that's why it's just like walking away and removing yourself from people i am a living example of it it hurts it hurts them i would tell you it it hurts them whenever you find out who you are and you start loving yourself and you start pouring into yourself and you realize of how much you hold just within yourself how much power you have you don't need no one you know what i'm saying i don't need no one no one I don't need people. I don't need a relationship. You know what I'm saying? God just blesses me with those things. If that is the person who, who is sees, who sees to fit into my life, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, at the end of the day, walking away from something that does not serve your higher self, that does not serve you period. Like if you know that you don't want that to be a representation of you, then Find a way where you're able to break away from it. Keep yourself distracted in some type of way, shape, or form. Not something where you will get um, a healthy distraction, whether it's going to school, whether it's writing a book, whether it's um, coming up with something creatively, making music, anything. You know, it could be anything, coloring, drawing, painting, just creating something to where you know capitalize off of what you went through tell your story live in your truth don't be afraid to talk about the things that you went through like it's okay yeah you may have been manipulated yeah you may have allowed somebody to persuade you into doing certain things and so have I like let the people judge you let the people talk about you let the next person say whatever it is that they want to say because at the end of the day you know the truth you know who you are you know And even if you don't know who you are, you're finding out who you are, which is why you're removing the people that you're removing, which is why you're not allowing the noise to 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 affect your quiet. You know, the peace that God is trying to send you. It's a lot of noise that comes with peace, a lot of noise that come with with not allowing the devil to win no more. You know what I'm saying? Because if those toxic relationships that you're in, that's the devil's work. You know, it's up to us. To decide on if we want to dance with the devil however long we want to dance with him you know what i'm saying like if you like we have a choice you have a choice every day you wake up every day and you make a choice like i said in the last episode so it's just like if you choose to want to lie still kill cool that's on you if you choose to want to be a, a great person and make mistakes and learn from them and hold yourself accountable great amazing you know what I'm saying? We all have different choices on what we decide to do in life. It's important for you to just take accountability for what you did, how you treated yourself, how you even put yourself in that situation and know that, OK, yes, I put myself in the situation. I allowed this for too long and now I'm ready to walk away. It's not it's never too late to walk away from something that does not serve you. It's never too late to to put you first and to try again you know like God gives us chances all the time and a lot of times it's like you're still here living breathing and able to even think about leaving this person or think about trying to move away from the situation you know for a reason you know because it's just like God wants you to overcome this battle he wants you to see the that light it is of course it's going to be dark to get to the light but it's still a light at the end of it you're gonna be able to reach it because it's just like you also by enter th- entertaining things like that you also create karma for yourself you know so it's just like you you have to go through that you have to face it you have to be honest about it you have to look in the mirror take accountability and be like yes I did this to myself yes I put myself in a situation that I could have did a lot better in. I could have treated myself a lot better. I could have gave myself a way better opportunity than what I did. And I know now of 
what I don't want to do. You know, like you want to you want to be able to come out of these type of situations of what not to do. You know what I'm saying? What what not to do, what you could do better in, how you can overcome it. You know, if 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 this situation approaches itself, how quick are you going to shut it off? How quick are you going to let the light stay on? How quick are you going to turn the light off? You know, so it's just like being very mindful, being very aware and understanding and knowing that this is for me. Like it ain't for them. This is for me. I have to put I have to put me first. I have to take care of me, you know, because if I'm not OK, then that person don't care. They obviously don't care if they if they're using. They obviously didn't care about whenever they was using you, whenever they was deciding to treat you however they wanted to treat you and doing whatever they wanted to do. So yourself first and allow yourself to understand that it's OK to learning how to be alone and learning how to not even not, not chase for a relationship and finding out like and learning that there's more to life you know knowing that at the end of the day it's not gonna be the the end of it because you know whenever I was walking away from my situation I felt like I was never gonna be able to find love again I felt like I was gonna I was never gonna be able to allow somebody to love me ever again I felt like I was never gonna allow myself to just be at a place of being able to be vulnerable, being able to be open with somebody, being able to trust somebody again, because it's just like whenever you go through them type of toxic relationships, it takes you through a lot. It's a it's a it's a storm, y'all. It's a tornado. It's because then it's just like you walk away. Then you then, you know, I, I have made the mistake of, of, of going right back. You know, I've went back before like I've I've made those type of mistakes before, but I've learned from them. I've took accountability like, OK, quit, keep always, you know, I don't I didn't want to continue with being uh, uh, um, the boy who cried wolf. Like, I didn't want to be that person like, well, is that a good example? I didn't. What's a better example? I didn't want to be the person who always kept complaining about what's happening and what was going on. But then I kept going to it and I and I wasn't making the change. I wasn't finding a better way of how I could do things differently. I wasn't showing that I wanted better. I wasn't showing that I wanted to do something different. I just kept wanting to complain about it as I was hoping and wishing for it to change. I was wishing for that person to change. I was wishing for that person to do better, or want to do better, wanting to be with me, wanting to see all of these things that I've seen and I had to realize and I had to understand and God had to teach me and had to break me down and and help me see that just because this person is showing you who they can be that's not who that that's not who they're trying to live up to that's not the person that they're they're trying to be they don't want commitment they don't want somebody there with them 24 7 and if they do they're choosing to put a mask to it. They're choosing to act like that. That's not what they want. And you have to accept that. So you have to accept this person for who they are. I'm telling you, it's time to learn how to be with thyself. It's, it's time to learn how to be within your thoughts, be within your presence, figure out what it is that you like to do, what you don't like to do. Because, you know, a lot of times walking away from these toxic relationships, we usually be so focused on that other person that we forget about ourselves, like I said before. And we forget about how we, like, what it is that we was even passionate about. What, what was it that we were even trying to work on before we got so invested into this situation? You know, like... And then it's just like understanding that at the end of the day, it's just like you are the prize. You know, you are the prize. You you are the person that controls everything. You know, you have control over your life. You have control over how you allow you to be treated how you allow you to be just all of that you know and it's just like going through the process allow yourself to take time take the steps that's what whenever I was saying how 
to allow yourself to feel the emotions, allow yourself to understand how you feel, what you're feeling. Are you feeling sad today? Are you feeling sad tomorrow? Because it's going to be a process, you know, like I cry my eyes out a couple of times, you know, what I'm saying through the whole through my whole journey of, of going through a toxic relationship. I cried. I cried a lot, y'all. I cried a lot. I cried a lot of tears. I had a great support system, you know, whenever I was feeling down and whenever I was feeling in those kind of moments, I, I would call like my biggest person was my sister. And if I didn't call my sister, I would just talk to myself. And whenever I say talk to myself, I just be in the house and I just be talking, but they don't really be by myself, but we're not going to really get, get into all of that. But, um, I just, I'd be talking, you know, I'd be having conversations, my, my inner thoughts, you know, entering my inner thoughts and this is that's how I'll be coming up with these topics and coming up with all these different things that I'd be wanting to talk about. And I remember I was going through um, a situation where it was just like. Like, why, why does it have to be like this? You know, why can't it just be something different? Why can't they just get it together? Why can't they just see that if they if they just made this this choice on making a good change in our life of how much it could grow, how much it could be something amazing, you know? And whenever you catch yourself thinking that way, you realize how much effort that you were putting in compared to how much they was putting in. And it makes you put things into perspective and, and take that opportunity of just being like, this is why I walked away, you know, and understanding that it's going to be a process. Take your time, yo, like take your time. I, Man, take your time and don't rush. Don't make yourself feel like, oh, you should have been over that. Yeah, yeah. No, like there's going to be times every day throughout your journey, even right now through my journey where there's some triggers you know, there's things that I'm that I'm learning from. There's things that I didn't realize that was so toxic that I was dealing with. You know, if somebody wants to treat you how they want to treat you and if that's how they're choosing to treat you, that's their loss. <laughs> there is their loss. Like, I promise y'all, like, like people get karma whenever they it's malicious. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But whenever you're being really evil, whenever you're being just not um from your heart and you're doing it out of hate you're not doing it out of love you're trying to like hurt that person you're like understanding to just let go of what you thought it was gonna be you know just let go of the idea that you created that dream that fantasy you know that picket fence that you thought that it was gonna be and Whenever God show you signs, just take that, take it, please take it, like come from me, like God has to tell me more than once, a couple of times with a couple of different people. So it's just like, don't be a me, you know, like, listen, take that. Like if he show you something that you know, that is not going that, that you can see that could be something really bad down the line and that could turn into something horrible, let go of it. Let it go. Don't let God have to show you. Like a lot of times he'll just, he'll show you in a way where it's not physically in front of you. If that makes any sense. Like it's a whole nother story seeing somebody physically with someone versus seeing them texting or, or on the phone with someone like that's different. I'll take that any day. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have took that. You know what I'm saying? But then I I jumped into wanting to see it, you know, physically see it, physically see all of it. And it's not it's mentally it, it, it messes with you mentally whenever you go searching for things and you're trying to find a reason to walk away versus just walking away like, yo, like, don't do it to yourself like coming from me like if you go find something you're gonna if, if you're looking for something you're gonna find it and that's just what it is like if you go because at, at the end of the day 
the fact that you're even going to go look for something, you know that you're going to go find something because you are you have a reason of why you're looking. So with you having that reason of why you're looking, that intuition, your intuition is telling you, nah, something ain't right. Nah, you, nah, something ain't right now. You know, like you listening to your, your inner voice, you're going to find something. And it's just like, stop stop going to go dig for things because the more you dig to the worse it, it becomes on your mental and then you end up reacting out of your emotions you know like sometimes you just gotta let them dibble and dabble in what they chasing after and and stop chasing after them and just let them be let them do what it is that they want to do if that's how they want to live their life let them live their life like that like like we gotta stop trying to trying to save people trying to change people trying to make them feel like well <laughs> look what you losing look telling them what they losing out on telling them how much of this great person you are that person they don't care because if they care then they wouldn't be doing what they doing and you wouldn't have to give them a whole list of how great you are they would just know that and treat you how you're supposed to be treated like they don't care. They already know how great you are, which is why they're using you because they know that since you're that a great of a person, you're not gonna do them dirty or do them wrong. So they 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 capitalize on that. They they feed off of it. They suck off of it like a leech. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a game for them. And all you do is play that game whenever you either act like it's not happening or or continue with getting mad and getting irritated with them doing it versus just doing something about it, which is just removing yourself, removing yourself, loving on yourself and finding out who you are. Why did God name you whoever your first, middle or last or first and last name is? You know what I'm saying? Or first, middle, 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 last, whatever it is like God didn't put you here to be mentally, physically and emotionally abused. That's not what he put you here for. And it's just like you may you may go through situations that that was your story and that was called for you to go to, you know, go through. I mean, but not never for you to just sit in and just accept it. No, he puts you through things to learn from them, to grow, to change, to to have the ability to overcome the battle that you that you felt like you would never be able to overcome allowing yourself to love you again to to care for you again and and understanding like sometimes it's just like a lot of times we go through these toxic relationships because of how we talk to ourselves how we treat ourselves how we look at ourselves in the mirror so whatever you however you talk whatever energy you put out that's what you're going to attract so you also have to understand and take accountability for what you are attracting the type of people that you're attracting the type of man or woman that you're attracting by how you're treating yourself how are you talking to yourself how are you what are you doing with you you know how are you placing you how are you displaying yourself like <sighs> no like or into just continue with trying continue with moving forward continue with trying your best every day to become a better you trying your best every day to make sure that you don't allow yourself to go backwards or to entertain things that do not serve you and whenever you do make sure you have the right people around you that will let you know hold you accountable and and help you understand that this is what you are signing up for this is what you're choosing to walk into and this is what is going to come with with you doing this and making sure you have that like it's so important to just hold yourself accountable and know that at the end of the day this is not the end of the road this is not the last relationship that you will ever have you know that person chose to treat you how they treated you and that's they lost that's that's they lost they fumble they fumbled the bag like they fumbled the bag they fumbled it, baby girl. And even if they choose to not even apologize, even if they choose to not take that accountability, like say sorry to yourself, like 
allow yourself to understand and know that it's going to be okay. Like, like I made a mistake and I went through this. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's life. Things happen for a reason. We, we live and we learn every day, but it's up to us to want to learn from it, to want to take out the lesson from that situation and understanding that God's, he puts us through certain battles for a reason and we have to understand and know that we have the choice of how long do we stay in those battles. And just, you deserve the world, sis, Ambro. Like, y'all deserve the world. Y'all deserve everything. And I want y'all to know that I'm here if you need if you need that support, you know? I don't mind being that person that you want to talk to or that person that, you know that you want to tell like if you're having issues with walking away from a situation and don't know how to get out of it like I'm I'm willing to be there because I know how that feels and I know the steps that it takes to do that it takes a lot of strength it takes a lot of power it takes a lot of just a lot just taking your power back is so important it's so important and it's so liberating it's so just like it makes you feel so good inside knowing that you have the strength to stand up for yourself and be like, I'm no longer going to accept this. I'm no longer going to allow myself to be in a situation that doesn't serve me. I'm no longer going to allow this person to just treat me how they want to treat me. Like it's time for us to just put our foots down and stop allowing ourselves to deal with things that are just not, that's deal with things that we're not supposed to deal with deal with things that we don't deserve you know like you don't deserve to be treated any kind of way somebody want to treat you just because they mad or they upset or they're going through whatever they're going through in their lives you know what i'm saying and and just a duly note like it's not that these people are horrible people it's just that these people are hurt people trying that's also trying to figure out life it's just that they're doing it in a way where it's it where they're not thinking about other people they're being selfish they're not being selfless they're not allowing themselves to see it from other people's point of views they're only seeing it from the, their own point of view they want to be the victim they want to they want to be the person that always want to cry about what you know like and you just got to let them people do what they do and keep it pushing and you you know go on your high vibrations you 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 vibrate high you you turn your the other cheek you do what you're supposed to do and that's just what it is you know not everybody's gonna like that and it's not for them to like it's for you to know who you are and continue with doing what you're doing and don't allow nobody to feel like they got power over you and they or they can tell you what you can and can't do because only God can tell you what you can and can't do. Nobody else. And make that very clear. <laughs> but I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope this video, you know, touch you guys and just help you go through whatever it is that you're going through right now and know that it's going to be okay. Know that you're going to get through the tunnel. It, it's, 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 it's hard, you know, but it's, it's going to become, it's, it's, I would never say it's easy it's just going to be it's going to be easier to deal with easier to deal with certain situations easier to go through the situations easier to handle the situations you know that you go through every day whenever you allow yourself to learn from each mistake or each lesson that you're trying to learn from and become a better you out of it and continue with putting you first continue with spreading love and loving yourself and loving others and don't ever forget that you are a star. You are that earth angel. You are that healer. You are that empath that needs to take care of themselves, that needs to feel, that you fuel yourself, feed yourself. And, you know, but really quickly, though, we're about to, you know, I'm about to do this video really I'm, I'm not the video but i'm gonna have to read this card it's the first chakra because i'm wearing green today so it's gonna be the fourth chakra which is your heart chakra so um it's gonna be accepting of self okay acceptance of self so it's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love i accept myself the way i am and i remind myself that i cannot feel any better about life than how i feel about myself 
I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I honor what my body is asking for. And if I am unsure, I will ask myself, what can I do to be healthier and more balanced than I am now? I dwell upon all that is right in my life, not what is wrong. And I have gratitude and I accept my life as it is now. And I move forward from here. That's our affirmations for the day, you guys. And if you need to rerun that back and reread that again or re-listen to me say that again, that's that's our word for the day. Acceptance of self. OK, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, make sure you guys definitely subscribe, hit that bell notification button to where you know whenever I post my next video, you guys, and I just know, like I always say, peace, love, blessings. Bye, you guys. Whenever you do stuff like that, like nothing good comes your way. Just the FYI. That was just like a little moment for them to talk to people that, you know, be thinking that they be winning and really in real life, it looked like you winning. And until like your life, little things start happening, your life start crumbling before your eyes. But <laughs> that's a little side note.